Hello. Last over of a 2020 match. 20 runs to get. First of all, I congratulate all of you, those who are in cotton and textile trade, because life in cotton is like a bag full of cotton is heavier for those who see it, but lighter for those who handle it. This industry has survived the ups and downs, the upheavals, the trade wars, which have happened before since centuries. Cotton is the most established cash crop as far as India is concerned. It has a documented history of 7,000 years. I am the only farmer in this panel. So as a farmer, I would strongly say that it, it affects my life immensely. Because being a cash crop, for me, it is also a social crop. It affects and impacts my family's economy and the country's economy. If you see India's history, there are years when the rains have been very good, like Atul Bhai said in his morning speech, the production has been good, the mood has been upbeat, and the economy has grown because India has 60% people still staying, staying in villages. And world over, if you see, cotton farmers are being subsidized, not because the governments have more money, but because they know the employment that it generates. Just imagine if there was no cotton in the world, or if we were not to grow more cotton from now onwards, how would we generate that much employment? Not possible. On one side, we say the production of, of cotton has gone down, she highlighted in the morning, and everybody in this panel agrees. In the last six years, if you see the production has not gone up, it has gone down. The yield is a nine-year, ten-year low in India, but the consumption has increased by 10 million bales. So if we have to keep pace with that, and what is the way out? The way out is two ways. One is increase the demand, focus on the demand. Dr. Sheshadri said functionality, I agree, but not at the cost of demand, not at the cost of yield, not at the cost of quality. Functionality comes, but yield has to improve. The quality has to improve. If I give one example of the yield, Maharashtra has 40 lakh hectares under cotton, China has 37. The yield of Maharashtra is meager 375, the yield of China is 600 kgs per hectare. Just imagine if Maharashtra grows cotton at the yield rate of China, Maharashtra can grow as much cotton as India and India would still remain the top most cotton producer in the world. That is the importance of yield. Look at quality. Australia commands 5 to 7 cents more, still they are able to sell their cotton. If Indian cotton were to get only 1 or 2 cents premium, the exporters and the mills would agree. What would happen to the economics of cotton? We have to discover the economics of cotton for, the, for doubling the income of the farmers, which is the national motto, for prosperity of the cotton textile industry, which is vital, it is a capital intensive industry, and cotton is the USP of India. And third is for prosperity of the nation and the world on the whole. So I strongly promote friends, use cotton. I am not averse to polyester. We have to experiment with blends and especially in technical textile, which is a growing industry. I appreciate Rivariji's view and all the views of the uh, uh, reward panelists. But look at the farmer angle. Five crore farmers grow cotton in India. So you can impact the lives of all those five crore farmers if you continue to use cotton. So my friends, Manish. with this I end my thing. And uh, with the uh, last few words for the cotton textile, textile industry, CDO ki zarurat une hai jine hai chhat pe jana. CDO ki zarurat une hai jine hai chhat pe jana. Jinka nisha ho asma, une apna rasta khud hai banana. Thank you. Thank you, Manish. Thank you very much.